My name is Peggy Gold, but I go by name Peggy Koo as a DJ and producer. What I love about when I play in console, it doesn't matter how many people they are, there is, like, like one person come up to me saying, hey, I don't know you, but I came here to see you. That's the thing that I appreciate and that's the thing that I love about. And one thing that I don't like or I hate uh, when I play is that when some people write on their phone memo and asking, can you play this? Can you play that? Don't request DJs. DJ, this job now is super hype. Everybody wants to be DJ and producer. If you want to improve or like be out there, I still do think you need to have your own thing. You make your own music. I always plan a lot of things. I have the list of everything, like remix that I want, where I want to play, where I want, what I want to achieve. I'm always planning things, but I don't want to sound too ambitious. And of course, you're right. More your name's out there, people will criticize you or more fans or whatever. But one thing that I know is that I can't change them. You know, even if they don't like me, they will hate me anyway. But the only thing I can change, change is the how to accept them. And uh, no matter what, there's no matter what, how many people hate me or, or like me, I will carry on doing things that I will carry on doing. And of course, uh, my bigger aim, I don't want to talk about where I want to play or who I want to do, what I want to do now. Right now, what I want to concentrate is making better music and improving my skills. No matter where you are, just be a good example. I really do think that Italian people know how to party and they dance like there's no tomorrow. They want to carry on. I Every time I played in Italy so far, I never had an experience that the crowd leaves before the music finishes. Even though you've stopped playing, they're still there shouting one more song, ultimo, ultimo. And um, yeah, I think they really appreciate music and they give really great vibe to the um, DJ. So the DJ feels like, ah, you're not really happy, you, know, you want to carry on. I feel very honored and lucky to be one of the very first a Korean female DJ that who can put the music out there and play around in the world. And um, Korean people are still go crazy with EDMs and trap and this kind of music that I, I, I'm not saying anything against it, but I'm just not a big fan of it because I only think it's only because they don't know about house and techno very well yet. If your friend listen to David Guetta, they will know there's only David Guetta, you know what I mean? Whenever I play in Korea, there is not many underground club, but whenever I play in a fashion event or this event, I play this house or deep house, whatever the music, mm -hmm. and I saw some people comes up to me saying, what is this music? Then I saw a little hope. For one year, I was concentrating on making music with the Korean traditional sound, but in the end, I had to move on because I was stuck in this, I wanna make something different, I wanna make um, something with the Korean traditional sound. Some of them, I will bring it back at one point, but I had to kind of move on, even though it's a beautiful sound. I'm more interested in finding old music. When I play at the club called Dance Tunnel in London, one of my favorite DJ and also a good producer called Geology, he was there. And I play one of this track called, uh, by um, Master CNJ. Uh, the track title is called Face It. I played it and he comes up to DJ Boots and said, how do you know this track? This track was made before you were even born. And I was like, yeah, but the track before I was even born, uh, for me is better than what people make now. I, that's what I think. So. Actually, when I found some track that's older than me, I'm like, how come did I, I didn't exist when they have a music like that, you know? My very first, uh, first uh, tattoo that I did in 17, is just mom and dad's tattoo, uh, my, uh, their name. And um, my recent one, I can show you something. This is from Germany, uh, how to say, fairy tale? Called, uh, the book called Maxum Moritz. The guy is generally uh, originally doing this, but I asked him to put it here, saying you need to know how to shut up sometime. 
<laughs> and then um, I have some uh, giraffe tattoo because I'm crazy with giraffe. Like uh, I collect giraffe from every city. So when I go to Serendipity, I need to ask the promoter or my tech writer, find a giraffe for me. And uh, what else, what else do I have? Um, palm tree, I love palm tree. This palm tree makes me happy anytime, anywhere. And most of my male friends, like my respect tattoo, they always say hi to me like this. <laughs> it's very, um, I got it when I was 17. And um, the writing is like very hip hop, I think. For example, yeah. this one is a Picasso drawing Pica by Picasso. And this logo is, there is an um, artist called Nam Jun Baek. He's the most legendary artist uh, in, from Korea. He passed away, but um, he's the one who brought this Korean, the very first Korean artist who made his fame with what he does. And he's a real artist and I really respect him a lot. That's why I got his logo. I would love to make another tattoo with my logo. <laughs> It's better. <laughs>